If you're a mobile streamer and you've been looking for a way to broadcast your mobile games to Twitch, well, you're in luck because Twitch made an update to their mobile app that allows you to broadcast any one of your mobile games from your device to Twitch. And I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it. So here we go. Hey, what is up all you awesome people? Wild for Games here, helping you become bigger and better. Before we begin, if this is your first time here, you need tips, tricks, how to's on how to become a better content creator and streamer. You can do me a favor and hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. Now let's jump right into this tutorial. I'm gonna move over to my phone and show you everything you need to know so you can get up and broadcasting right away. To broadcast any one of your mobile games on your phone, you first need to download the Twitch mobile app. Download that and log in. Click on your profile picture and at the top is the go live button. Here's where you're gonna see stream games or stream IRL. For the sake of this video, we're really only gonna concentrate on the games. If you wanna learn how to stream IRL to Twitch, already did a video on that. I'm gonna put it in the top right corner, right up there for you to check out. Tap on stream games and pick from the list of games here that you want to broadcast to Twitch. If you don't see your game you want to broadcast, simply just type it in and it'll populate and click on that and hit next. Here is where you get to set up your stream by editing your info. Give your stream a title, double check that you're under the correct category, select the appropriate tags and the length of ads you would like to run if you choose to run any at all. Don't forget to add the language, and if you want to add stream markers, this is where you can do it when the appropriate time comes within your stream. If you scroll down, you can change the message for notifications for when you go live, and you can also share your channel link with social media platforms or people within your contact list. When everything looks good, select done, and now we can concentrate on stream volume. The very first one is microphone. This is how loud you will sound when you're speaking to your mobile device. Please note, changing the volume on the outside of your phone does not adjust the volume of the microphone picking up your voice. So please know that if you plan on using this mobile app. The next volume setting is device. And this is how loud the internal volume will be on stream from the game you are broadcasting. Now, before you hit that big, bright purple broadcast button and go live with your mobile stream, Twitch actually has a little link there that recommends some extra tips. Make sure you note that some iOS 14 features will end your stream. Be sure to turn off silent mode, set your volume levels in Twitch, this way everybody can hear you and the gameplay, turn off notifications and put your phone in a do not disturb mode. This will prevent notifications from popping up and appearing on stream, which takes us into the next tip is protect your privacy. Everything that will be shown on your phone will be broadcasted live on Twitch. Your contacts, ever anybody who's sending you a message, pop-up notifications, alerts, things like that. You need to be very careful about what programs you switch back and forth to because you may be showing something you don't want to show. So make sure you're very cautious. And the last one is stay unlocked when you're live because if you lock your screen on your phone, it will end the broadcast. Once you hit that broadcast button, switch over to the mobile game you wish to broadcast and now you'll be live streaming that mobile game on your Twitch channel. Now an extra tip from me to you is I recommend having the mobile game already launched on your phone and waiting in the background of it. So this way when you hit the broadcast button, you can easily just switch right to it because again, you're gonna be protecting your privacy. You don't wanna to go to your home screen and show things you don't wanna show because you may have like a home screen picture on there that may show something important. And I wanna make sure that you protect yourself. So that's an extra tip from me to you. Now, as you can see, it's really easy to broadcast any one of your mobile games to Twitch using the Twitch mobile app. However, it's not a perfect system and there are a few cons. The biggest one being is there's no easy way to see chat of any of your viewers interacting with you. You can't see anything. It's strictly just you playing the video game. Hopefully at some point, Twitch will add an overlay or a chat box. So that way you can play the game and interact with your stream because right now it's just you, the gameplay and how well you can interact by yourself. Now, if you're thinking, well, I can just switch over to my channel and see the chat in between when I'm playing the game. Sadly, you can't because that goes into the multitasking feature which will end the stream right away, which is again why they need an overlay or a chat box so you can interact. 
Now, the big question I always get asked whenever I do a mobile tutorial is, how do I show my face while broadcasting my gameplay to Twitch? And the answer is, you can't. There is no way to do that at the moment. And I understand why. If you think about it, if you're holding your phone and your camera is locked on towards you, it would be extremely shaky and you'd barely be within the frame. So that's probably the reason why this is not there just yet. Another reason is probably when you hold your phone in horizontal position, your hands, your fingers, your palms would block the camera again. Nobody would really see anything. But Twitch mobile app is still in the beta version for streaming games. So these are things that could eventually come out at some point. So what are my final thoughts on the Twitch mobile app for streaming games? It's a step in the right direction, but it's not anywhere good just yet. You just wanna play games and have people watch and you talk, yeah, it's perfectly fine. Go for it, it's great as long as your community is into that. But if you want something that's a little more interactive, maybe has some overlays, a chat box, allows you to play games and broadcast to multiple platforms if you want to, or any platform you're choosing, I would recommend taking a look at this video over here to the right, which is the Streamlabs mobile app that allows you to do exactly just that. Wild for Games helping you become bigger and better with your mobile content. And as always, take care, and of course, peace.